welcome back to code switch today we are going to look at how to set up and run a flutter app in windows you will be able to understand what all things need to download what all things need to configure and what all things need to install and set up and make an application run on your windows machine so the first step is to install the android studio so let's take google and head on to the android studio website click on the main link and click on the green button download android studio accept the agreement and click on the download button it's almost around 872 mb so let's start downloading we have now completed download let's try to install android studio The next step is to download the Flutter SDK. So let's go to the Flutter website. Now since we are installing it on the Windows, select the Windows from here. You can also verify the minimum system requirements for downloading Flutter. Click on the blue button and let's download Flutter. Alright, now we have downloaded the Flutter. Let's create a folder to save our downloaded file. Alright, now let's extract the zip file. Let's try to run the Flutter console to see whether we, get, we are able to run this application. Now we need to configure the path of this location. So let's go to the bin folder and copy the location. Then click on start and open the environment settings. Now in the path, you can add the location that you just copied. And to verify, let's open a command prompt and type in flutter hyphen hyphen version. And if you see this, your path configuration is correct. Now let's head on to the next step. Now we need to update all the Android latest build tools. So let's open Android Studio. Click on the three dots and open SDK Manager. And click on the SDK tools. And from here we need to install Android SDK command line tools, latest version, Android SDK build tools latest version, as well as Android SDK platform tools. Click on apply. It will install these components, click on OK and let's wait while the components got installed. The next step we need to do is to create a virtual device. So for that open Android Studio and click on the AVD Manager. Select the device you want to run. I'm going for Pixel 2. Click on Next. And select the system image. So we have Android R already installed. Let's select that. Click on Next. Set up the basic configurations and click on Finish. Now we have created an Android virtual device also known as AVD. 
Now it's time to accept the Flutter licenses. For that, open a command prompt and type in Flutter Doctor. Now this doctor will scan for any issues with our installations. And here you can see it says some Android licenses are not accepted. So let's type in Flutter Doctor hyphen hyphen Android licenses. Now you can accept all these licenses by clicking on Y and pressing enter. Alright, now that we have successfully accepted all the licenses, let's try to run Flutter Doctor again. And now you can see that that issue is resolved. The next step we need to do is install Visual Studio Code IDE. So let's get onto the website and download the Windows version. Alright, let's fast forward the download and we have downloaded it. Let's open it. To help us develop faster, we can install two of the popular extensions and they are Flutter and Dart. So let's go to the extensions and search for Dart and install it. Alright. Now search for Flutter and install it. Alright, we are good now. Let's try to run our first application. So let's go to a folder where you want your source code to be. And from this location, run a command prompt. Now here you can type flutter create and the name of the application you want to create. So here I am naming my first app. Oops. Now you can see that there is an error. That is because I am using capital letters. So if you were creating a new application, let's put small letters. Alright, now that we have our application created. Now let's open that folder from Visual Studio Code. And let's inspect the files. Now here you can see the libs we have the main.dart file and here the device selected is Windows. So let's click on it and you can see a list of devices. Let's try to run our application inside a Chrome web browser. Since Flutter can also run on browsers. So we have selected the browser. So we have selected the Chrome and let's click on the debug icon. Alright. So our Flutter app came on a browser. Now you can interact with this, you can adjust it, you can resize it, you can expand it, you can do whatever crazy things you wish it to work. Now let's try to run it on an Android machine. Now here you can see we didn't have an Android machine. So let's click on the plus button and you see that AVD manager is missing from the Android SDK. And this is happening because we have not configured the SDK path. So in order to know your SDK path, you just need to open Android Studio and click on the SDK manager. And here you can find your current SDK location. So for me, it is C Android SDK. So let's copy it. And let's open a terminal here and type flutter config hyphen hyphen android sdk 
then paste the value that we just copied now the next thing that we need to do is we have already created an avd let's start it so let's go to android studio again and let's open the avd manager and click on start so this will start our android virtual device now let's come back to visual studio code and let's try to hit the debug button again oops so if you encounter this issue that means you need to reinstall specific components that are corrupted for that you can go to android studio again and go to the sdk manager and from here click on the show package detail checkbox and just untick everything apart from the latest on android sdk build tools click on okay Now hit the debug button again. It's building the application and it's launching. Now you can see that our application is launched and you can see the layout inspector got populated in the background. Now let's try to interact with the application. It's fully working. Let's change the color and just click control S to save it. immediately you can see the change on the application so that's the beauty of flutter so i hope this video helps you understand how to install and setup and kick start your development on a windows machine with flutter more tutorials are coming to codeswitch.com so stay tuned